Welcome to the MK Eddington Books podcast. This is podcast number nine on my book, The Ten Principles of Personal Longevity. The history of this goes back almost 10 years to when I started researching long-lived people and found there were many people all over the world who'd lived well over 100 into their mid-100s and even later. Even found a Chinaman named Lai Ching Young who'd lived to 256 years old. So I started writing about longevity, wrote several books on the subject, and even developed a uh, consulting online training course for people who wanted to get certified as longevity coaches. So I've done a lot of research on this subject. Now the book, The Ten Principles of Personal Longevity, has the 10 steps which I developed to help people learn this process and apply it to their own lives or their clients. So it's a really interesting book and really is a world-changing set of steps. So next you'll hear a sample of the audio book for this book, which I hope you'll enjoy. Thank you. Introduction. They say that one's mission in life can often be shown to be preordained by an event that happens when you're very young. This may have happened to me when I was about four years old. I lived in upstate New York, and my mom used to sometimes take me to Harris Hill near Elmira to ride the ponies. Harris Hill was also the glider capital of the world, and sometimes we would stop at the field to watch the gliders taking off. One day I was standing on the concrete near the hangars and saw a gray-haired tall man talking to some woman. I had a strange feeling, and I don't know why I did this, but I wandered over to him and said, Are you the man who never dies? He gave me a very strange look, and then my mother grabbed me and took me away, apologizing for me. Many years later, I read that a man who may be as much as a thousand years old lived in that area. So who knows who I met that day? In September 2008, I wanted to write a book to give back much of what I had learned over the years about spiritual development and metaphysics. In looking for a topic, I was fascinated by the claims of many Indian yogis that were said to live hundreds of years. I wondered if these claims were true and this was really possible. This led to my research on long-lived people, and what I found was shocking. I found pictures, bios, and videos of people all over the world that had lived and were living well beyond the age of 150 years. I even found one Chinese man who was claimed to have lived to 256 years old. Lai Ching Young, who you'll learn more about later. As an engineer and career IT consultant, I also have an analytical side and wanted to understand and explain extreme longevity to others. The result of my research and meditations was my first book on longevity titled Physical Immortality, A History and How-To Guide. That book led to my networking with a lot of persons in the extreme longevity movement. Many of them are called immortalists, since they follow practices they believe will lead to their own life extension. I also researched and wrote more books on related spiritual and holistic health topics over the last five years as I continued to learn and grow. In mid-2012, I took all the knowledge I'd accumulated and started developing a new approach to teaching people about the possibilities of long-term health greater happiness, and extended longevity. This led me to codifying the 10 principles of personal longevity, which are the following. 1. The reality of long-lived people. 2. Defining your purpose in life. 3. Enabling the life urge. 4. Your spiritual health. 5. Having love in your heart. 6. Energy body health. 7. The science of longevity. 8. Physical body health. 9. Using your intuition for safety. And the 10th, implementation of these principles. Each principle is a progressive step towards helping the individual to maximize their long-term health, which leads towards extended longevity. The rest of this book is designed to elaborate these 10 principles with evidence, theory, and exercises to help everyone live as healthy, happy, and long a life as possible. I'm also developing my business in parallel with this book to help everyone implement these principles in their lives. As of 2017, we offer these services to everyone regarding longevity. First bullet, longevity coaching and certification programs to provide new skills to professional wellness coaches and additional skills to other wellness professionals. 
Bullet two, package longevity workshops for business to integrate their wellness programs together and teach clients about the 10 principles in detail. You can read about these programs and more at the Personal Longevity website, which is personal-longevity.com. All of my books and supporting information are also on my book site at mkeddingtonbooks.com. That's M-K-E-T-T-I-N-G-T-O-N-B-O-O-K-S dot com. Another thing I learned in the last few years while marketing my longevity programs was although most people are very interested in the topic longevity, they often don't want to pay for something with benefits which takes decades to realize. I also knew that what I teach has many short-term benefits. This is why I developed the concepts of personal freedom. These are the things that you learn from the 10 principles of longevity training, which help change your psychological outlook in life and give one more hope for the future. I've included sections from a short ebook I wrote on personal freedom in the next chapter to describe more of what this is about. The rest of the book after that consists of explanations and details of the 10 principles of personal longevity. Each of the 10 principles chapter headings now includes a box on the benefits that principle provides for personal freedom. Enjoy!